I'm back for a uh, Carrera tutorial, so I'm going to go to the top right here. Duplicate. Move that right here and duplicate this one piece right here. And go into here, director's camera. Go into here, extrude. That. And now since that extrude, we're gonna go move. And we're gonna go into face, right here. Delete that. dot select this So we have that ready to be selected. Left. like that I would guess and now we're just gonna go into here
just like this. We're going to go into box section and just select these, I think, and just select this, I think. Go into here, left view selection. And just go in here and just like move up like this. Move that up like that. Now we're just going to select that and go top. Left view. Just like this, I would say. Top view right here. Like that. Just gonna go in here.
down. So we have that. And now I'm just gonna go top right here. Make sure that that's running. Select that little bit right there. Go left. And then I'm just gonna go in here, extrude CTR, and hold down the CTR key. Go into scale, and we're gonna scale that down like this. And the best way is to go move, and move this down right there. That's okay, I might have to add more segments into here, but that's okay. So we're just gonna go into here, view, hide selection. We might as well do it right now. So we're gonna go into here. Train. Just went basically here. And just went into here and I went into extract a long edge right there. And that's it basically. If I can just go in here, move along. I, I went into move along edge. It's 
So, exactly like that, basically, I would say. Back to reference and to And just adding some points into here so I can give more of a round beveled edge right there. along and That's what I have right there, ready to be used. So go into top view. Yes. So I'm um, I'm actually doing this right now. So I did that basically. So that would be set right there. So I had to get this completely accurate, I would say. Matter of fact, I'm gonna actually select this instead. And I'm gonna actually go into here, extract along like that. 
axis and sas selected, we just move that exactly like that. And that's it right here. So, back, top, back, and now what we have to do is kind of like Gonna move that like that. Just like that, I think, like that. So I want to try to do kind of something as accurate as this. So I have the image right there. So right about here is where I'm going to actually do the cutoff right here. So I'm going to do extrude like that and hold down CTRL. Go move. And put that right about there. And just go into here and... Go top view and kind of just put that right there. Good, so exactly like that. And just go into here. Kind of like that. this and just like this so kind of like I'm going to do the increases right here I think so I'm going to go extract around right here 
and do like little edges like that. So it adds it like that pretty much. Go, go into here and go left. So the only thing I have to do is this right here. So what I would have to do honestly is So I have to get this to be very accurate like that. Success. And now And we want to try to increase this, so... So kind of like that in a way. And this is almost done. Just gonna go in here. that
So I'm just going to go into here and go extrude right here and hit CTR extrude. Actually, I'm going to make sure I'm on edge select. Exact. Move that up like that. Extrude. Move. Right click move. So I'm going to act.